I'm Pat Grizzard. The name of this podcast is A Legacy of Love. In this segment, I will be talking with my brother Malcolm about how music has affected his life. Malcolm was the catalyst for my album, Jesus is the King of Kings. His best friend told him about someone he had worked with on a project before. From that introduction, the album was completed in about six and a half months. I met musicians who taught me the ins and outs of making an album, like voice control. It was very interesting and fun, well worth the time and the money. Now I'm going to be asking my brother Malcolm 10 questions. Okay, are you ready, Malcolm? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the first question is, how did you get interested in singing? I've always loved to sing, and from there I got started. That was at a young age? Yes. Second question, tell me about your experience with working with a gospel singing group. I love to sing with a gospel singing group. When I learned how to make harmony, that took precedence. Was there anybody in the group that kind of more or less got you inspired in singing in it? Yes, there was. After deceased, Delbert Spree. Can you tell me and those who will be listening the name of the gospel group that you sang with? The Sensational Servant Air. How far did the group travel? We traveled throughout the United States, San Diego, California, Washington, D.C., and to Canada. Wow, that was a lot of places. Did you happen to write or co-write any of the songs that were sung by the group? I did. Can you remember any of the names that were sung? We Need Jesus in Our Lives Today was one of the songs that I wrote, and the music was instrumental of My Girl by The Temptation. Oh, all right now. I know of one that I always requested. This is referring to how many songs that were requested. Can you name some of the songs that were requested for your group to sing wherever you went to sing? Um, Moon Satan and Christian Home were written by Deborah Spree. Okay. I know mine was Get On Board. That's the one I really enjoyed. Do you remember who wrote that song, Get On Board? I believe it was Arthur Tibbs Jr. I mean, I really loved that song. I love to hear you guys sing that one. You told me about your world travels, but can you expound on who were some of the singers that you met on your world traveling or some of the groups? In San Diego, California, we met and sang with the Rand Fallon group. Oh, wow. He was one of my uh, well-known singers that I really enjoyed listening to. Did you also know, was it Willie Neal Johnson? Willie Neal Johnson and the Gospel Kino. We also sang with him on many occasions. All right, I love to listen to him as well. And the last question that I like to ask you, which what advice would you give to any young person or an older person who would be interested in looking to do an album? We can be young at heart in our fifties, sixties and seventies and older. What advice would you give them to start an album or even singing? In a group of two, three, or more, what advice would you give to that person? If it's your desire to do that, listen to as much music as you can in the area and the type of music that you enjoy the most and spend as much time as you can in learning the basics of harmony, preferably three-part. Okay, right. I mean, just like it would be in a choir, right? Your sopranos altos, and other voices, okay. What voice do you sing? I sing baritone, naturally. And before I close this segment, I wanted to let everybody know why I call you my hero. As a child, I was born with scoliosis, and I had an operation. I had to wear a heavy, heavy body cast. I emphasize that. One night while I was watching television, I got ready to turn the set off. But because the television was so far away and the body cast I was wearing so heavy, I fell and I screamed. But however, I didn't know you were outside and you flew inside that window like a flash. 
and you picked me up and you put me back on that hospital bed. And I was so ever grateful for that. And ever since, I call you my hero. And I thank you for answering these questions. And you know that I love you so much. And I call you my big brother. And I thank you for answering the questions. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be of service and I love you more. <laughs> and you have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, you have a blessed rest of your day. And thanks for calling and including me. Brought to you by the Possibilities Podcast Platform. Thank you. Than the love.